Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. How's everybody doing? Great. How are you? I'm great, man. I've never been better. I'm thriving, and I'm horny. And we're hosts. And we're hosts of a podcast called the Viral Podcast. It's funny we say we're your host. We're your host. We're hosting you through the next you know, hour or so of your life. That's what we're doing. We're hosting you. You guys are a host. We are hostess. Here in our hands. Parasite. All state. Yeah, we are hostess. And not the kind of the restaurant, but the, tw- the Twinkie kind. Oh, those are fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey guys. Um, Just want to let you guys know I'm on tour this week and next week I'll be in Dayton, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Detroit, Michigan. Chicago, and then I'm hitting up Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Madison, Wisconsin. So please come see me. Get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And um, today... Uh, For the cruise, like I talked about, you know, last time, today the cruise goes on general public sale. So if it didn't sell out during uh, pre-sale, there might be some cabins left. Go get your cabin. Get you a cabin. They start at $750. All you got to do is pay $100 down, and you got a year to pay it off. And then you're going to have days of fun and wetness and party. And buffet. Oh, we're going to be so wet on that boat. Slipping and sliding. Yep. So, guys, go to Tammy's Pontoon Party.com. See you there. Oh, my mom. Uh-huh. Wait, did you have more to say right there? No. Oh, my mom doesn't listen to our podcast. Uh huh. And just because she doesn't like hearing She's about scared. me, like sucking on cock and stuff, but yeah. uh, she decided because she got moved up at work. And so the lady she was carpooling with doesn't ride with her anymore. So she's like, oh, I might as well start listening to more podcasts. Oh, God. And our podcast was the first one that came up. And, of course, it was episode 69. Oh, it's the worst episode for her to listen to. I know. I told her that. No. I don't want. Yeah. So now she was like, oh, okay, so that, um, that condom. That we found. Oh, my. I didn't think she would ever hear, but she's like, so that condom we found on the walking trail, now I know that she was remembered. yours. She yeah. remembered? And didn't I say something like, oh, she's going to know now? And you go, she doesn't listen to the pod. Oh. Yeah. Of course she would fucking listen. Oh, no. Even though I don't care, it's just so yeah. random that, that why sh- that episode, like, weird. She would weird listen timing. to the most sexual episode we have the whole time. Wow. Strange. Sorry about that, Mom. Hey, um, I did want to... Something funny happened this morning. So I got up super early this morning, and I had... Um, I was doing some radio interviews to promote the tour. And um, I had, like, several of them this morning. And usually, oh, they're all wonderful, and they're great, and it's cool. I get to call in and, you know, to a radio. And when I call, it's usually the producer or the or the guy, you know, interviewing me. And they'll say, um, hello, you know, K90X or whatever, you know. And I go, hey, it's Chelsea Lynn calling. And they'll say, hey, awesome. Um, let me go ahead and start the recorder because it's most of them's pre-recorded. They will, I will do some live ones every now and then. And uh, he'll go, they'll go, let me start recording. I'm like, okay. And then they'll start like, hey, guys, we have Chelsea Lynn uh, on, the, uh, on the show today, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I call this uh, radio this morning. Oh, boy. And this guy goes, it was the weirdest thing. I call. And he answers, he goes, yeah. And I go, hi, uh, it's Chelsea Lynn calling. He goes, hold on, let me push record. I go, okay. Damn, what a way to start it out. And then he goes, welcome back to K90X Fiction. Welcome to the show, Chelsea Lynn. Everybody, Trailer Trash Tammy calling in the studio. How are you, Tammy? And I'm like, (laughs) I wanted to be like, you good? 
fucking flipped like a light switch. Dude, this is what he did. Yeah. Uh, hi, it's Chelsea Lynn calling. Hold on, let me push record. Welcome to the show, Chelsea Lynn! Thank you for calling in Trailer Trash Tammy! That's Brett on Fanny Pack Cam. <laughs> That's how we know he's recording. He acts different. No. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, to flip on and off like that, that's not good, not good. And and not even like, I, I would have been fine if he would have been like, hey, welcome to the show, everybody, Chelsea Lynn, Trailer, no, it was, welcome to the show, Chelsea Lynn, tra- Trailer Trash Tammy's calling into the radio scene this morning, how are you, Tammy? From the settle, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, it literally threw me off, I wanted to hang up. You need to record the pre-conversation. Oh because. <laughs> To, to welcome you in like that, yeah. it's just, you're kind of like, okay, and then to that, uh-huh. it's just like, oh. Yep, yep. Whoa. Hold on. How did you respond? I literally was like, uh, hey, how, I'm good. How It threw me off. You're like, same guy? Uh, you should have called him out. Like, you went zero to a Are you the <laughs> same guy that started this? <laughs> Wait, I was just talking to somebody else. Wait, same guy. I was just talking to somebody else. Who's this? <laughs> Dude. Gary, you've got your back to everybody. You guys, Gary's I don't joining. Mind. Cause he's looking at you. Gary's uh on the table. Gary's joining us for the pod today. He's taking the place of Maggie. Maggie is not joining us today. She had something to do with Lola. She had to take Lola to tutoring. We were we started recording too late. So Maggie is sadly not gonna be on this pod. She does have a replacement. She does have a replacement. Um you'll just have to look on the YouTube to figure out who that is. Brett, you okay with your replacement there? Oh, yeah. It's a, you're going to tell him? No. Brett. Oh, Brett. Come on. Brett. But I do want you to do something for me randomly. That, that has that has nothing to do with your replacement. Sing an Elvis song for me. I'm all shook up. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that sounded good. I didn't, I didn't expect you to know an Elvis song. Yeah. Kind of saw the movie the other day. I said, I bless my soul. It was wrong with me. Watch us get demonetized for singing that. Damn. Justin Armistead. I love. That's my favorite when he oh. sings Elvis. Gary, you are mama's world. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you um, talking? Well, hey, um, Brett, you have been talking a lot oh. uh, this episode so far, so I guess keep at it and go ahead and just move your back for us. Roll into it. I thought Paige was saying, like, are you still talking? So that means play it. Play it, Brett. Here we go. I was thinking how if you actually really want to know something, anything you could, instead of asking someone, you could just Google it. You know, <laughs> I get a lot of people ask me questions like, "Hey, what's, what's this?" and and then somehow they're like, "Hey, will you Google that?" I I kind of end up being the Googler. I feel like I don't know. Or you could like YouTube it. If you really want to know something, it, figure out anything. You can honestly learn it. I feel like YouTube. Um, TikTok's great for learning as well. Um, I was thinking the other day, uh, you know, my first baby word was go. Do, do you guys remember what your first word you said ever? Like what that was? I was talking to someone the other day. They didn't, they couldn't remember <laughs> what it was. That's fine. Um, <laughs> the XFL, like I was watching it. I'm like, what is, what's going on? Are they, it's like minor league football. Should be like the WWF, like Brett, entertainment. Your dad, time's up. Lean back. <laughs> All right, Russ has spoken. Brett, lean back. First okay. Baby word. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember Brett. For real, yeah. I, Too I, little. Can't remember. Yeah, brain wasn't fully functioned then. You, you should know. Hmm. I know. Yeah. You were a baby at once. I mean, that's what I would. I guess I was told. My yeah. first word was. Don't yeah, always believe in what people say. Yeah, right. True. You don't know. They could be lying to you. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. They could tell you one thing, and your first word was not go, and you trusted them and believed them. It was the name of my pacifier, they said. Go. Mm. Like, suck it. Can you imagine little baby Brett? Hey, Brett, go to bed. That's <laughs> what they were saying. Go. <laughs> and we're, and, and he's pe- like, go. People are still saying it to this day. Brett, go ahead and go to bed. We'll tuck you in in a minute. Do you want to see him, what I look like? I have him in my fanny pack. You have pictures of you as a baby? Yeah, the... Uh, in his fanny pack. Of Remember himself. The skating rink when you do that, like, long mm-hmm. deal? Does it, anybody else just carry baby pictures around of them? Oh, show the camera. Put your hand, Put your hand behind it. Yeah. That is the most uh, 
that exposure on well, that picture. Yeah, Brett, is, put it up. Uh, put it up, Brett. We'll slap that on Instagram. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> Brett, you ready to play a sound bite for us? Uh, well, remember, we kind of talked about it a little bit. Go ahead and hit that trivial sound bite. Oh, that one. Okay. Here we go. Oh ready? Gosh. Here we go. Trivi, get trivia, huh? Get trivi, get trivia, huh? Fuck me, get trivi, get trivia, oh, oh yeah, fuck me, oh yeah, I'm daddy's little grounder, huh? Yeah, I just walk the earth. Stop. And we're doing a live of our podcast taping on the cruise. Keep that. Keep that in mind. Okay. I wonder what we're going to do. Just sit there and then they're just going to be like, hey, how do you suck dick? Or yeah. what What are the, uh, we got to come up with something. We'll come up with something good. Maybe I don't if know. they could write their questions and then we could have a little pot and then yeah. pull them out. Ran, who knows? Yeah. Who hey, knows? What does live spell backwards? Evil. Yeah. What else? That's it. Okay. All right. We ready for trivia? Now, Gary's going to get scared. Gary, you want Mama to hold you because you get scared of the wheel. Come here to Mama. Mama holds you. Here we go. What happens in Vegas, Red? What happened in Vegas? What happened in Vegas, Red? Trivial. First question. Mom's world. Most of Lake Las Vegas's, excuse me, most of Las Vegas's water supply comes from what? Lake Las Vegas. Large lake created when the Hoover Dam was built Lake in Las 1935. Vegas. What is the name of the lake? Lake Las Vegas. Lake Hoover Mead. Dam. Lake, lake Mead. Mead. Lake Mead. I got it. Lake Mead. What? Mom was taking pictures with her baby. Hey, okay. honey. Go ahead and spin hey. that wheel. Hey, Brett. No more. Here we I'm go. I'm spinning. SNL Dark Purple. SNL. Snell. Here we go, Snell. Dark, dark Purple to question number two of Trivial. Mm-hmm. SNL was created because the Tonight, so, Tonight Show host, blank, wanted more time off. What was his name? Mm. Uh, Should I read it again? Lorne Michaels. SNL was created by the Tonight Show host, blank, because he wanted Johnny more time. Carson. Woo! That took, uh, why did I say Lauren? Ma- that took me a minute. That took me a minute. Somebody told me I remind them of Johnny Carson. That's very random. Mm. Oh, that's hey, you, honey, huh? it's my turn. Here we go. Animals, yellow, animals, yellow. Here animals, we go. yellow, mm. question number three. Of trivial. Of trivial. What animal has the thickest fur? Oh, shit. Polar bear? I'm just going to say a uh, bear. Some type of otter. Oh, a fucking. Mm. Mm. An otter? A sea otter. A seal? <laughs> a yeah. seal? Yeah. Sea, sea otter. otter. Yeah. What? That yeah. got they, me. They that have got me. fur? Yeah. You'd think polar bear. Yeah. You know? All the way. Okay. Is that really called fur? All right. Here we go. Last mm. one. What happened in Vegas? Here we go. Hi, baby. What happened in Vegas? Which two other actors starred alongside Bradley Cooper in the movie series The Hangover? Fucking well, Zach Galifianakis. That's the only one I knew. I don't the know. The dentist. Them. I just know their names in the show. I don't know their names in real life. Me either. What is it? Ed Helms. Yes, I did know that. Fuck. What other shows or movies do they star in? Hangover two, and three. Just that though. That's no, the they're only in other. You know them from. They're in other stuff, but not as popular. I'm sorry. It's hard to focus when Gary's staring at me, and he's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I know. And it's, when he starts licking, is I can't even know what you're talking about right now because I'm just looking at this beautiful angel. Oh, that's okay. Totally. I'm used to just talking to myself, so yeah, we're all good. Yeah. Here. All right. Hey, honeys. Well, let's see. We did. Oh, let me do Rock Fucker of the Week. Have I announced that yet? No. Honeys, I am here to announce Rock Fucker of the Week. We pick one person every week from our social medias who share stuff, comment stuff, basically just interact with our social medias. We pick someone at random, and you will get a message from Maggie. She'll get your 
address, t-shirt size, and we'll send you a piece of merch. And Rock Fucker of the Week is Rachel Rutledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rachel, thank you. Yay, honeys. All right, now, is everyone ready? Oh, I'm ready to fucking do something eat my Eat my ass? After this. Okay. Tell them what we're going to do first, and then I'll eat your ass. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Not that long ago, every meal or snack felt like I was settling for something I didn't really want to eat. I'd hit a drive through you know, grab some takeout. Thankfully, now Daily Harvest keeps me well-fed with easy-to-prep options, so I never have to settle. Daily Harvest, you guys, they work directly with farmers, okay? So they source the best ingredients, they freeze them at peak ripeness to lock in flavor and nutrients, and they never, ever use artificial preservatives or ingredients. And listen, we got to support our farmers, okay? Farmers who invest in practices that increase biodiversity and improve the health of our soil and by delivering food in recyclable and compostable packaging where possible. Daily Harvest does the work, so all I have to do is eat and enjoy. You guys, I sit back, I eat, and I enjoy. Their latest drop is a collection of grains that's been helping me get dinner on the table in minutes. You guys, these meals are perfectly balanced, okay? We're talking whole grains, veggies, wild rice, squash, cauliflower, but they pair perfectly with every meal I make. Stop settling with your next meal and try Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral to get up to $65 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash viral for up to $65 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash viral. Well, right now, what are you talking about? No, I'm just listening to (laughs) what you're going to say that we're doing. Right now, we're going to roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honeys. So, I'm really curious. I guess I've just been um, thinking about this. It's been on my mind for a long time. So, we I live in the middle of nowhere. Well, the middle of nowhere in Iowa, in Cornfield. And we're surrounded by Amish. We see a lot of Amish men, a lot of Amish women. Just to want to curious, the thought. Thoughts on Amish? Would you bang one? Because some of the Amish are pretty hot, but they do smell. But they do stare a lot. We have a lot of Amish that come in or we go into the stores that they have. And the guys that are, like, in their teens and 20s, they just stare at you. When I was little, there was this one guy that would just stare and smile. They smile. They're very friendly, but they would just stare at us like they just want to jump our bones. But this has just been in my mind, and I really want to hear you guys' thoughts on what you think of Amish. Thank you. <laughs> love you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love you. Love a good Amish question. I don't know too much about Amish people, I guess. Well, growing up, we had a little Amish community in Oklahoma. And swear to God, up until maybe like, God, six months ago, a year ago, I thought Amish... They were just people that wanted to live off the grid. I didn't know that it was a religion as well until I started following this guy on TikTok who is ex-Amish, grew up his whole life in it, and I guess got out, and the stuff he talks about is mind-blowing. Is it very culty? Very. It's very, It yes, very. Um, he, his mom, like he can't come back and visit his mom unless he is wearing all of the, um, attire, the, uh, whatever, the, the, whatever clothes they wear. Do they wear kilts? No, no, but they wear like, I don't know. I don't know. They wear certain things and like, he can't come back and like, he can't come back. He can't talk about certain things. He can't talk about his life outside of the Amish. He can't talk about his wife job no i mean nothing 
I don't know exactly what their religion is and what, what they believe in. I don't know. I just know it's very culty, very strong, very lots of rules and laws. The stuff he talks about is mind blowing. Can they not, uh, have sex unless. No, they're not, they're not even. So, and I'm just speaking off what I have learned from this guy's TikTok. Let me, by the way, they grow up not even knowing what sex is. He said they will grow up and get married, like arranged marriages, and not know what where babies come from as an, as adults. Damn. Um, the now, power of just... Yeah. Now, I don't know if there's different levels or different types of... I don't want to speak. This is yeah. just from... Following this guy has really opened my eyes. I was like, wow, I didn't know any of this was going on. Because growing up, we'd go out to the Amish community and go to the little Amish store, and they'd have, like, homemade breads and banana breads. and. So you grew up thinking, damn, they just they have bakeries, and they're cooking some mean yeah. food. And we'd go in, and they always had a nice little house, but it looked very like, you know, they were living back in the day. The little country store went into, like, they would have electricity, and I would always ask my aunt, like, I thought they weren't supposed to have they weren't supposed to have electricity and stuff she's like well they have generators they feel like it's different I'm like that's not you know I don't know I just I don't know much about them but I'm I wonder if it's kind of like the yellow deli in San Diego if are they Amish or is the yellow deli I think the Amish more have like the curls yes well I don't know actually I know I always think of the weird Al Yankovic song yeah Amish paradise yeah um I don't know much about, they had, they had, I know they had, at once a year they held this big festival where people, Amish festival where people could come and like vendors and stuff and we'd always go and had lots of fun, you know, ate Amish food, they make homemade food, you know, like it was fun. I just thought there were people that wanted to live off the grid, live old school. I didn't know it was like a religious thing, but. They weren't socially awkward when you would talk to them? No, not the ones that I saw, Beth. Did you run into any? No, not at all. Not at all. They were very, like, you'd see them riding their little horse and buggies down the road. It wasn't, Damn. yeah, they were horse and bu- horse and buggy. And it wasn't, like, all the time. Like, it was a little area of Oklahoma. I don't even know what town. Do you know what town? Uh, I, yeah, I don't even know. And they, yeah. It, like, I think even there were signs, like, like look out for horse and buggy. Like oh, a f- yeah. official, like gov- awesome. government signs, like on the road. We need Amish callers if you've got out of it. Oh just yeah, to, like I was about to say, there's nobody current listening to our pod. Oh no, if they've been out of it, yeah, they're just in the Amish community sneaking the viral podcast. Oh my god, risking it all to listen to us. Going, oh yeah, fuck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's interesting. From what I know, I, I mean, Amish was cool growing up, but I don't know if there's different levels or what, but he talks about some shit. I'm going to go down the rabbit hole for sure. It's wild. It's almost heartbreaking, the stuff he talks about. Sad. And he's always like, I'm happy now. I'm married. I'm living a normal life. And I wish I could pick. I, I'll find him. Just getting brainwashed like that. He has a large following, so if you just type in Amish, I'm sure he'll pop up. Okay. Yeah. On, on the tick. But yeah, man, I you know, hey, they make good baked goods. That's what I would say about the Mormons. I'm like, yeah, I didn't really know what they were even preaching, but damn, they made some good baked goods. They lured me in with the potato, the diced potatoes, oh. the the fruit punch. Oh, we love eating with ice cream in it. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, honeys, love eating here. Love it. Thanks well, for calling in, though. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Appreciate you. Hey, honeys. Spent Valentine's Day with my ex's baby mama here. So, long story short, I spent a year in a relationship with a guy that I ended up getting engaged to just to find out that he never actually left his baby mama. So, when I made this discovery... I texted her and was like, hey, girl, I think we should have a talk. So we decided to have a talk on Valentine's Day. She left the house and was like, you know what, I'm going out. I'll talk to you later. And he was like, on Valentine's Day? Really? And she's like, ha-ha, little do you know, bitch. So me and her met up, and we had a few drinks, and we talked about everything. We hashed out the entire past year of our lives being a complete and utter lie. Um, 
because he was with both of us the entire time. So we decided to make the executive decision to go say something to him. So we drove to their house on Valentine's Day and walked in to this motherfucker just kind of chilling there. (laughs) And he realizes that it's me because I have bright blue hair. And he's like, oh, fuck. So, yeah, I got to spend Valentine's Day fucking going off on the dude that I was supposed to be spending Valentine's oh Day with, God. with his other girlfriend. So, yeah, that was a good time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know his heart dropped to his asshole. You know he fucking, oh, my God. Seeing, them, seeing the two people you're getting got walk in together. Dude, and you're... A year long and got engaged? That blows my mind. To go that extra step when you're already fucking messing up. That is a master manipulator. That motherfucker knows what he's doing. That always worries me too. What are you doing for that year? You're just never going to their house? His house? Oh, you can, I can only come over to your house? It's just kind of like. Yeah. That's a red flag already. You feel like, you feel like you would know, you'd feel like, how does she not know? But either, either she was oblivious or he was good at what he was doing. Great liar. Damn, dude. I'm glad they got his ass. He, I want to know all the stories he was coming up with. Oh, I live with my parents and they're really rude. They, oh my God. Saying something to not get her over there. Dude. Right, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, you know what? I already moved to the next call, so I apologize. <laughs> well, you don't have to know. What are you talking about? Um, how do I feel about this? I think you should know- have vlogged it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that brings up a good fucking a good fucking those TikToks. I know we're talking a lot about TikTok this episode. It's our life, though. We love scrolling on there. We love scrolling those TikToks where people are videotaping them confronting the people cheating on them. Dude, I don't know why. I could, well, I guess because back in the day, my favorite show was Cheaters with Joey Greco. <laughs> with Joey Greco? Cheaters? Come on, man. Cheaters that is the good, that man. is the best fucking show of all time. Is that where they call in and say, hey, will you buy roses? No. If, I love that. They literally followed the cheater around, like, detective, like, secretly filming them. And then when they're out in public, they go and... They Punches are usually okay. thrown. Oh, God, I love that so... radio station where they say, hey, oh, yeah. we're giving out free flowers. Who do you want him to go to? Mm-hmm. And the wife's on the line and they don't know. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, Angelica. And the wife's like, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. fuck you. Dude, I, I, I love being on the catching a cheater side of TikTok. So, yeah, that would have been great if they vlogged it. <laughs> I'm sure it was very entertaining seeing that motherfucker's face. That big microphone. <laughs> Dude, his jaw fucking dropped. Oh my god. It's like what did they say? Were they like Hello? And the, they hmm. just needed to say hello and yeah. have him say yes. the words. Yeah. Oh god. He probably was like you he probably manipulated them both right there too, uh, saying uh, yeah. saying mm-hmm. something. It's not that serious with her. Bitch has got a ring on her hand. Shut the hell up, dude. Idiot, man. I'm glad that those two girls could come together mm-hmm. rather than, no, yes. he's not doing that. Fuck you. Like, yes. they were both very professional about it mm-hmm. and talked and mm-hmm. had some beers. I agree. And got his ass. They got his ass. Good. Sorry that happened to you, honeys. I'm glad you figured out it now before you fucking married the dude. Had kids with him. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cheaters do better. Just do better, you know. Just do better. And thank you for calling in, honeys. Yes, love, love you. Ya. Sorry that happened. Hi, honey. So basically, my cousin is going Costa Rica and like the summer for a leadership thing, and I'm still in school, but I could like really ask my parents about going to Costa Rica and you would help teach kids like things in English and you go with a group of people and it seems super safe and everything but 
do you think it's worth it to like push to go and travel because I feel like travel is something I'm really passionate about like what do you guys think I should do or do you think I should just wait till I'm older mm-hmm. but yeah just let me just let me know because I'm just you know I'm all over the place but yeah thank you honeys oh yeah oh yeah love you honeys we love have a young you. hey honeys young caller here so cute um you want to go to Costa Rica. Yeah, with her? let's yeah, go. Let's, go. go. <laughs> let's take her to Costa Rica. Uh, for me, I've had friends that went to India to teach people yoga and things like that. I don't know if I would go for that reason to go. <sighs> really? I would, but I don't know. I've heard that that's actually not a good thing to do for some reason, what? and I can't remember the reasons why. But really. Yeah. I what, to go to other countries to, to do things? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I heard it was just, I can't remember the exact reason huh. why. But it's like I've a never, trap. I've never heard that. Yeah, I'm going to look more into it for sure. Whoa. For sure. But I guess if, I don't know, I just would like to go travel and chill Yeah. for me. But you being so young, and if you don't want to travel and just stay in one spot and teach English, then maybe it's not for you if you are not wanting to go explore. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I I think if your parents can afford it and they're okay with you doing it, absolutely 100% go. Um, You get to travel, experience something new, live life in a different environment. I think it will be nothing but a positive experience for you. Unless we read some article that said, we don't know, we're, we're gonna, we need to find out what you what you read. But if they can afford it or something, absolutely. Um, if they can't, I wouldn't push it. I, w- I would wait until you can afford to do something on your own. But I most definitely think that you should go. Um, heck, I'm about to be 35 and, you know, I'm, I've been to Mexico. That's my only out of the country. But I was telling Beth the other day, I was going, this is... I've been dreaming about traveling the world my whole life. I'm Even 35. to go to every state would mm-hmm. be a dream. I go, just, you, you yeah. got to do it, dude. Traveling in general just is so good for you. I yeah. feel like to just go see how people live mm-hmm. and what they eat, everything about them we and may their be, culture. We may be going on a big trip this summer with Paige and her family. We may, be, going doing, we may be doing that. Yeah, yeah, trips. I love trips, but I just don't know if the going and teaching. And also, is that just volunteer work? I'm sure. I'm sure that it'll have to be through, like, some, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, man. Talk to your parents. See if they can even afford it. I wouldn't push it if they can't. That's a big, that's probably a big expense. But, you know, I definitely think you should go, you know, if they're okay with it. Oh, yeah. Why not, honeys? You might meet some of the coolest people you've yeah. ever met and make lifelong friends, yes. too. Yes. Yes. Then you're doing something. I would grow such an attachment to kids. I feel like yeah. if I was trying to teach them, it would be hard for me to leave. I think traveling and experiencing new things is very important. And here's the thing. You don't have to have the money to go to Europe or go to Hawaii or whatever. Like I used to work with someone at Whole Foods and she changed my perspective on things because I used to work, go home, chill on the couch watch Dateline. until I went to bed, <laughs> get up, work, repeat the whole thing, which is fine. I, you know, you need to relax sometimes. But I remember her asking me one day, I had two days off and she was like, Oh, yeah, what are you going to do the next two days? She's like, anything fun planned? And I was like, oh, no. Chilling. I'll probably just chill. And she was like almost shocked. She was like, you're not going to do anything? And I was like, what would I do? You know? She was like, oh, we're going to, I'm going to drive up to, I forgot, it was somewhere in California, maybe a few hours north of San Diego. And she was like, I'm going to drive up to the uh, Antelope Valley and look at the uh, flowers that have just bloomed. She's like, do you want to go with me? And I was like, Yeah, that actually sounds really fun. And, like, she goes, I always, like, try to do something new and see something new on my days off. 
And we drove like three hours and we went and looked at this huge field of flowers and we drove home, you know, stopped on our way back and ate somewhere. And I had the best fucking time. And that just opened my eyes to be like, I don't have to travel across the country. You can do things in your state. There's a lot to experience just anything around you. Yeah. Even for us here in Nashville, all the waterfalls. Yes. We don't really need to even go anywhere else. Right. <laughs> so just a That's little little true. piece of advice for everybody, you know, try to do something, even if it's in your town, just anything, you know, like I just, I, she really opened my eyes with that one. So to invite you, that was cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good luck, honeys. Let us know if you go to Costa Rica. Make the best. Hey, honey. honeys. Rock fucker here. Uh, just curious if, um, I love the Todd and Damien uh, skit. Uh, have you guys ever thought about doing, like, smut? Like, write a smut book? But if you do, like, an audio book, but as Todd and Damien, <laughs> uh, I guess mean, their voices are fucking hilarious. I, can, I can't do the fucking voiceover, but it's fucking hilarious. Um, anyway, guys, have a good day. Get your nut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey's car there. Hey, honey's car caller here. Hey, honey's heard the highway in the background here. Hey, honey's audiobook uh, here. Who, wait, I feel, I feel penetration in my hole. Who is that? It's me. Uh, who? Turn around. Oh, God. Who are you? Damien. What are you doing, Damien? I'm writing a book. You are? Yeah, you're in it. What am I doing in it? Oh, you're sucking on my fat cock. Wait, what? You're so good at it. And I love you. <laughs> I love it when, when Damien gets... Sensitive? Um, sensitive and emotional. And I love you. How do you write an audio? What's a schmuck? I don't know. I never heard of that. It means uh, where someone is stupid or... Somebody... Or Somebody Uh-oh. is stupid Thank you, Beth. or like obnoxious. A, like, we, would we ever write a dumb book? Basically. Like we a, need an audio book of Todd and Damien. Yeah. Todd and Damien. We haven't done a Todd and Damien in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed that Todd and Damien. We could just write our own stories, kind of like Beavis and Butthead, but Todd and Damien. 100% <laughs> do, a, do a cool graphic. Yeah, just Done. the animation. Done. Billionaires. Hey, honey's billionaires here. That does remind me, we need a counter, and we need to get to a billion followers, and we need the, yes. that, because, uh, you know, the counter well, we're adds fear and freaks people out, so we got to get to that billion quick. We're trying to take over the world, and um, we need a billion followers to do so. And minimum. At minimum, if not more, but we could start with a billion. Yeah. And we do need a counter that has a live counter of how many followers we have, and we need to try to get that to a billion. We'll just keep it right on the podcast table. Yeah. So tell your friends. Yeah, tell your friends about our counter. Your friends' friends. We can't yeah. even grow if the word's not spread. Right. Can you imagine, out of all the things we've done, out of all the hard work over the years of everything I've created in terms of, like, Tammy Bangs, the live shows, everything, we put out a Todd and Damien audiobook. Todd and Damien just and, goes and, fucking wild. And it just takes over the world. We become billionaires over Todd and Damien. <laughs> mm-hmm. Characters we just made up. I don't know if I'd be pissed or, like, happy. I, it would be a mixture of both. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Man, when I find a good deal with Honey, I feel like almost like I won, like, scratch off you know that feeling you get when you like win something or you know like you're basically getting money for doing nothing oh that's what it feels like thanks to honey manually searching for coupons is a thing of the past listen honey is free okay it's absolutely free it's a shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds right to your cart You don't have anything to lose. Imagine you are shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the honey button appears, and all you have to do 
is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you watch the prices drop. All right, I do most all of my clothing shopping online because I'm a big gal, and we all know places at the mall aren't really big gal friendly. So there's a couple websites that I... That That threw me off. You threw me off. Keep that in, Beth. Keep that in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Sorry, she threw me off. Like I was saying, there's a couple websites that I love to get clothes from, and I don't even need to go on their website and try to get a code and try try to get... I don't do none of that. Okay? I use Honey, and almost every time... I find a code and save money. Honey doesn't just work on desktops either. It works on your iPhone. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and, dude, that's it. Save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Viral. That's joinhoney.com slash viral. I feel like a lot of things just start from something stupid. Yeah. So. Right. It would it would match. It would. <sighs> That's funny. Who wrote uh, Beavis and Butthead again? I What's don't the know. Judge. Oh, Who? yeah. Mike, Mike judge. judge. Oh, how'd you know that? I just know because he did Office Space too. Oh, yeah. I think. Fuck. Good times. Mike Judge, dude. What Mike a guy. Mike Judge made it. Mike Judge made it. <laughs> Mike Judge made it. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. What? Or you could just get a billion just from asking, maybe, and then do the. Well, that's w- that's what we're doing. We're asking right now. Maybe we're all you have to do is just ask to get to a billion. Well, that's what we just did. No, I know. It'll be great to find out. Yeah. So, so if you're listening, just follow us. If you don't already, try to get us to a billion. Hit that download button for us. Hit if that good. Hit that download button. That that really helps us out in terms of podcast stuff. We don't know how, but we know it does. So, why do we? Why does nobody know? I don't know. Uh oh, UPS guy must be here or something. Amazon guy. Gary, who is it? Gary. Oh, it might be Gary. Who is it? Little mom's little. He's on alert. We do need to figure out how the downloads help us. Yeah, don't know. I think just everything does. Yeah, just any er- support. Er- and y'all are doing great. Yeah. Everything y'all are doing is great, you know? Just listening. My yeah. favorite comments um, on the YouTube or just anywhere is, hey, honey's taking over the world, or just like, hey, I'm here to help you guys take over the world. I love it's it. It's just I feel like they <laughs> get us and connect with us on a different... Because they, get- they know we're fucking around. They get that humor. <laughs> we're not, I mean... We're not obviously going to make it to one... <laughs> Barely in following. <laughs> you know? But we will with the counter. But we we'll, Yeah. You know? So, great. God. Manifesting. Hey, honeys. Manifesting here. All right, Brett. We're ready for that next call, my man. Hey, honeys. Um, I genuinely had a question about people calling in. Do you guys ever get callers that are, like, completely mean? They comment about your appearance or they're just, like assholes because typically everyone who calls is like huge fans so do you ever get like you know see you next tuesday that call in and you're like god how the hell did they get a hold of my podcast i was just genuinely curious um i hope not but i mean i don't know who would hate you guys you guys are amazing i truly 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 enjoy looking forward to tuesdays just so i can listen to you beautiful ladies and and brett too you know but hopefully you guys have a wonderful, um, hopefully three day weekend. Um, and yeah, bye. Thank you, honeys. Yes. I would say no. The only call I can remember was Brett played us this call. You remember the call I'm thinking about? The old guy? No. Oh yeah, that one too. No, the one where that girl was like um, mad that we called her rock fucker. Mm-hmm. She was like, I don't want to be called that. I'm not a rock fucker. 
I don't fuck rock. Like she was being serious. I don't fuck rocks. I don't appreciate you saying, Hey, God, Hey rock fuckers at the beginning of your podcast. I'd rather you not say that. And I'm like, okay, if you're not a rock fucker, then you're not a rock fucker. I'm not talking about you. Stop fucking listening to the podcast, bitch. She can still be a honey, though. <laughs> no. No, not at all. Oh. No, if you're going to call in and get mad for calling us, <laughs> yeah. sh- no. Over something so simple, bounce yeah. out of here. Oh, yeah. Roll. Now Roll what, like a rock out of here. Now, what old guy are you talking about? The one that got. Hey, Brett, you uh, need to stop getting high on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Doing broadcast. This, do, the broad, that's how he came up with the broadcast because yes. he's like, I love your broadcast, but did having we, somebody high on there. Did we play that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> and, th- yeah, I, I mean. He was right. There are a lot of call. Some people will just call back and be like, I know the answer to this yeah. type. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But nothing ever really, really rude, which, thank you, because we love the support of the nice callers. Oh, big time. Everybody's awesome. The rock fuckers are awesome. Rock fuckers and whatever else you want to be called. The honeys, the virolers, the the listeners. Dude, we love you. The pussy lickers. The pussy lickers. Yeah, but I would say, you know what? I was doing a podcast not too long ago. And someone was like, how do you deal with internet trolls how do you deal with the hate i'm sure you get a lot of comments and i was like you know i maybe i don't know i maybe i don't notice them although i'm I'm on my stuff replying to comments constantly i don't feel like i get a lot of hate the stuff i do get hate on is is facebook and it's always old people i've said that before and it's like i don't take it personal because i know that these people are a crazy b trolls See, hurting so bad inside, they're lashing out. I don't take that to heart. I don't take it to part. You could say anything, and I won't give a fuck. I'm like, okay. And, it's more funny. Right. That's why I read the, the you know, r- mean, ridiculous DMs on here, because it's, whole, I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's crazy. You know, like. This guy's going through it. Yeah. The one thing that woke me up, though, when we started this podcast, of like, oh, shit, if you say one yeah. wrong Word, uh huh. They're coming after you. Yeah, because I said I ate falafel on accident, but I was I meant farfalli pasta, uh-huh. and I had a, about a thousand messages yeah. from people from the cheesecake factory, <laughs> and that's what woke me up to thinking, shit, dude, this yeah. is gonna be a wild ride. Yeah, but it's honestly been great, and. Yeah, I mean, even if we get a response to everything, it's still mm-hmm. good. Good times, man. This pod has been a good ride. It's been what a year and a half almost. Not quite, maybe. Are you stoned? No. <laughs> do, wait, do I look stoned? <laughs> you're you're just like, yeah, yeah. I've got some popsicles in my basement. If you like one, popsicles in my basement. <laughs> Brett, are you okay? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. You do kind of look pretty like you would invite someone to do something. Yeah. <laughs> All every day. Hey, hey come over. <laughs> got something to show you. I got some, come, something. Hey, come over to my house. You want to <laughs> see what I got in my garage? Just come in. God. <laughs> come look between this. And it's my legs. Yeah. Look between what? <laughs> These two thighs. Look between what? And it's my legs. Oh, my God. That's Good a times. lure. That's a lure. Good times. Love you. Anyway, honeys, we love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for calling in. Oh, yeah. Um, so, me and my boyfriend have a 27-year age gap. Ooh. Um, Dang. It can be a little bit hard at times, but uh, doesn't Paige and Brett have an age gap? Uh, what do you all think about that? Also, I've been telling him how I've been wanting to go to the Trailer Trash Tammy show. And he says I need to find a better role model. Uh, can we just take a minute to say, fuck you? All right, that's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, daddy. We could spare a minute to oh. say, fuck, fuck you. you. Hey, boyfriend, if you're listening, 
Fuck you. Okay? Because every time you say to her, oh, find a better Roma, this is all she hears and all she sees. Fuck you. And would we hear stuff like that? We want to do the exact opposite, so... Yeah, that keeps me going stronger. Makes me want to just buy her a ticket. Yeah. No shit. For real. Here's my thing, okay? <laughs> People that say that, and I don't hear that all. I've, I've, you know, I've had, I've seen a couple comments from, once again, old people on Facebook who will comment on a video or something, and they'll say, oh, what, what a great example. Oh, I can't, you know, like, I feel sorry, you know. And it's like, hear me out. If you really just gave me and Trailer Trash Tammy a chance, you know, Tammy is very inspiring. Oh. What bad? Changes, what, changes lives. What bad? I was being serious, but best laughing. <laughs> best laughing. I was trying to be serious and heartfelt. <laughs> best laughing. Tammy. Hey, Beth, fuck you. <laughs> Best laughing, and I was literally trying to be serious and heartfelt. That's what's funny. Because you're talking about Tammy here. <laughs> well, here's my thing. Tammy's very body positive. You know, she's positive in a way without me coming straight and, you know, and me on my social medias. I'm, I don't come out and talk verbally about body positivity, but I live it I guess so I will have people come up to me at shows on the streets not even big people and I've had men too but thin women be like oh my gosh like you you know posting yourself in a bathing suit or in a bikini like oh I had this lady she she was like I've I haven't worn a bathing suit in 10 years I always wear a t-shirt shorts when we go to the lake she goes and you posted a picture you know, and it made me, I went and bought a bathing suit for the first time and wore it out with my kids. That's awesome. And it's like, come Changing on, lives. Man, come on, man. How can you sit there and say, that person's stupid. You shouldn't look up to that person. I, I just feel like that people that say that are ignorant. They don't know. They don't follow me. They don't know. So I think that you're doing fine, honeys. Following me. I hope I lead you the right way. And yeah. And I'm not perfect. I'll do, I'll do some dumb shit, I'm sure. <laughs> it's coming. I'll do some dumb shit. It is pretty shocking, though, when parents write me and say, I hope my kids grow up and are just like you. I'm like, oh. dude, did they mean to write me? Yeah. But then if I ask them, they say, yeah, the positivity, yeah. The, the, you know, just being the, down to earth. The that's fuck what, what everyone want. else thinks. Yeah, that's what they want their kids to be like or yes. aspire, just to be happy. Yeah. So... And it's so hard for people, and I never really understood this until I started social media. You know, I'm, I've always been really my whole life very much fuck what anybody else thinks. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want, live the way I want. Talk. You know, I've always been that way, and I kind of thought that's how most people were, and it wasn't until I started where people were like, wow, like, I wish I could say the things you're saying. I wish I could, and not, I'm not... I know it sounds I'm like I'm tooting my own horn. I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm good. No. But, you know, like, I've had a lot of people say that to me. Like, you really inspired me to talk to someone that I haven't talked to in a while or bring something up. or. And it does it. make you feel good. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want people to feel like they can't be themselves. Right. That's sad. Right. Exactly. So, we're just going to keep on trying to take over the world. And even if I didn't like somebody, I wouldn't ever let some, I would never tell somebody, you shouldn't watch them. Like, if that makes that person happy, you should just be happy for them. Yeah. Well, you know, people, people uh, don't mind their own business and they got a problem with everything, so. So do better. So just do better. Next time your boyfriend says anything negative about Trailer Trash Tammy, just look at him in his fucking eyes and say, do better. And fuck you. <laughs> and fuck you, man. 
Hey, honey, come to the show by yourself. You don't need to come with anyone, or, or especially him. Lots of people come by themselves to the shows, don't they, Beth? A lot of people, and you will have fun, and it's a wonderful environment. You'll make friends even, probably. Like, I'm telling you, you'll be fine. Come by yourself. Lots of people do. Leave his ass at home. Mm-hmm. You'll thrive. Mm-hmm. Love you. Or right. she can just play this. I jack off to you, Tammy. Good one, Brett. Yeah. I jack off to you, Tammy. One That's more. my favorite sound bite. Yeah. I jack off to you, Tammy. Amazing. And squeal. 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 Let's just go ahead and play them all, Brett. Squeal. Birth control. <gasps> I threw that one in there for Not, fun. I've been wanting to play that for a while. So that Earth control. did not happen on the podcast. That's from a vlog we did a couple years ago. Play it again. Birth control. Nice, Brett. Good good throwing one in. Because I was asking you what was in your arm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you go, birth control. <laughs> and then yeah, me and you fun. and all of our farts were in it. From We went to Palm Springs for my birthday and stayed in the hotel room for, I think, two or three nights. And we didn't leave, and we just recorded each other farting. farting. <laughs> and I had just met you. We didn't know each other. You took some shots, too. That was like the second time I met Brett. We all stayed in the hotel room in Palm Springs <laughs> farting for three days. <laughs> and eating a lot. Paige, do you realize we really didn't know each other? No, we did not. And we stayed in a room together, farting nonstop, recording it. (laughs) Dude, what the fuck? It's fun. That was fun. That's so (laughs) weird. We've done some weird shit. Remember I said it's uh, it's pretty cool that we can share our farts with the world? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Hey, I love you. I'll I hope play the rest of them. Oh, play, play oh, the yeah, rest yeah. of the. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Wait. How do you suck me? Probably the most classic of the pod. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Great. Second classic. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. And then I'm going to add some more. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> On our soundboard, we can actually add a whole nother column and press the buttons with them. That's something we're just learning. Nice. <laughs> You guys, I known by now. like I said, better. from the very beginning of this podcast, we don't know what we're doing, and you guys are learning with us. That's why we have, you know, team meetings on air, and we don't. We had a big technical difficulty er- earlier. Like we don't know what we're doing, so we appreciate you sticking around. You know who we need to call? Who? ITT Tech Institute. <laughs> Figure out all of our technical. Difficulties? No, that's uh, to get a degree. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you want to go de- get a degree, honeys? <laughs> yeah. Where do you go to school? Uh, ITT Tech. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you know that was a scam. I met a guy who graduated. He actually called, went, and got his degree, but they said, it, sorry, it doesn't count. Wait. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. Wait. Wait. What? Damn. Got, yeah, he got him. got his degree at ITT Tech. Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Like his credits didn't transfer over? Yeah, it's just basically like he went to school for four years and didn't, but it's like, doesn't matter because it, it's a fake Dude, school. I'd I'd go raging wow. on somebody. Yeah. Wow. I need to find out more about that. <clears throat> Is ITT Technical Institute a scam? Google says, the report details how ITT Tech... Who wants better sex? If you just thought to yourself... I do. Well, that's great because you are in the right spot. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off almost any one item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. And Adam and Eve care about your privacy, so if you don't want family members or your kids or just anyone around to know that you have bought a dildo, a clit sucker, a anal bead, a cock ring, lube, then Adam and Eve will offer discreet shipping for you. We are all about doing better here on the Viral Podcast, so bring pleasure and more satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or just anything you desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. 
That's viral. V I R A L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to the podcast. So be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, yeah. Systematically defrauded millions of students over decades abused the federal financial aid system and left students weighed down with student loan debt and worthless credentials. Whoa. Kind of like that University of Phoenix a little bit. They were trying to hate. Do you remember that? No. Yeah. How are they scamming people, but every commercial says, call ITT Tech? Nicole, let's do, how, like, what? How did what? they get away with fucking um, f- the f- abuse of the federal financial aid system for decades? It's Man. got, they, the people running the show got to be running that too. No? <sighs> no social media, no platform to share. Hey, don't do this. Is That is just, oh, and then this one says, is, is my ITT tech degree worthless? Is it worthless? According to the U.S. Department of Education, it's not. You still complete your degree at an operational institution, so nobody can take that away from you, but it's unlikely you'll be discharged from your loans. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, I did not know this. Oh, that's yeah. sad, dude. Yeah. Wasting four years or s- I don't know how long you go to ITT yeah. Tech, but just wasting any time, then it doesn't even w- go towards anything, and then you're dude. in student loan debt, and that's oh. already a whole other fucking story. Can you imagine going to school for four years? You go to graduate, and they're like, hey, gaddy. <laughs> doesn't count. Got your ass. And you're like, wait, what? And then they're like, squeal. Squeal. Yeah, so I'm just supposed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll just... Oh, my God, that's awful, dude. <laughs> squeal. <laughs> school S- fucking suck. Yeah. All right. Thank you for calling in, honey. <laughs> Love ya. Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, and this is uh, the last call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sad. Gary. Gary. Hey, guys. Um, this is my first time doing something like this, so I don't know why. I'm a little nervous. I uh, left a voicemail previously, um, but I just want to say again, I really do appreciate everything you guys do and everything you talk about. It's definitely helped me personally be much more comfortable with myself, being more open to others. Um, I also think what you guys do is amazing. I think it definitely helps a lot of people in their day-to-day life with just being more open, more comfortable with things, being able to talk to others about certain things that they may be nervous about or self-conscious about. Um, You guys are fucking hilarious. I love everything you guys do. I appreciate you guys a lot. I listen to you guys daily. Uh, Brett, fucking funny guy. And fucking love his mullet. I aspire to have a mullet like that. But, yeah, I just want to say, you know, because of you guys, uh, my girlfriend and I have definitely opened ourselves up to trying out, you know, toys in bed, spicing things up. And let me tell you, life fucking changing. It's, uh, It's weird. But uh, it's nice, you know. It's sensational, and uh, yeah, you know, I took your guys' words to heart, and you know, sometimes it's a little hard for me to laugh. So definitely important that my girlfriend, you know, bust nuts too. So I got her that thing. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I got her that thing that you guys talk about to help her bust nuts, you know, because it's only fair. So. Yeah, I love you guys. I appreciate everything you do. I hope you guys do it for a fucking lifetime. And I wish you guys the best. So, yeah, have a good day. Oh, bless his sweet soul. Hey, honey's tearing up here. That what made my an angel. First off, don't be ever, don't ever be nervous to call us, honeys. Anyone listening. Um... No, your kind words made my whole day, and uh, we appreciate you, and we hope to be doing this for a lifetime. As long as you guys are listening, we'll keep doing it. And um, And the fact that he struggled having his girlfriend nut, but the toys helped, and he's just, 
even though he could have maybe do it on his own, he's still just so thoughtful towards her, like making sure she's satisfied too. And yes, just, there's nothing. So kind, there's nothing wrong with just no. trying. No, just and the thought seriously is what counts. The toy he's talking about is what I always talk about: the Satisfier Pro. AdamandEve.com. AdamandEve.com. Code viral. It is we the, need that guy. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, that is the best toy. Thank you for your kind words, man. We lo- we love you. Um, we're happy that you know things are popping up in that bedroom and keep it going, man. We'll we'll keep we'll keep podcasting. Yeah, be, we do it because of these sweet, sweet, sweet calls. Big time. Fucking changing sex lives. Big oh, time, daddy. Oh yeah. And if you have any other things to say, if you want to call us, do it. Then, then give us a call. <laughs> give us a call <laughs> at four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Hi, Brett. Oh, yeah. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh, fuck me.